everybody, it's Audrey. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I've been on hiatus, I guess you'd say, for a little bit. But I thought that I would just jump on here and um, show you some new makeup that I got and kind of review one of them in particular, which is quite well known and been reviewed, you know, all over the place. But this is just my personal experience with it. And just do a little face of the day. And what, I, what I'm doing uh, slightly differently, if anything so uh first of all i um i you know i did my normal moisturizing and then i did a spackle primer by laura geller so i do have huge pores and so um if, if you watched my um best foundation ever video uh the one for 2015 it's um the one that i found was it uh cc cream and medium for me and, and I just love it and uh, it is one of my favorites absolutely it is highly moisturizing and um, almost a little too much um, for me sometimes um, I mean it's great coverage it's great um, treatment for your skin on top of being a great makeup but I wanted to try something a little different and go for um, Kind of a powder makeup but you know you have to be careful when you're over 50 or 40 or whatever um with powder makeups too because they can settle into everything so anyway my um <clears throat> i decided to grab the illuminating um celebration foundation from from it in medium and i'm sure you guys have seen this um all over the place if you haven't all you have to do is just google it because it's in everybody's done a YouTube video on it. I've used it already several times and um, it comes with its own little brush but I haven't used this brush. I used a um, an e.l.f. Um, stippling brush um, foundation brush and um, I have to say and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more because um, I want you to it is illuminating foundation, so um, let's see if I can get up here so you can see it. It does have that glow to the skin, which, you know, I don't mind. And it does have a nice glow to the skin, but I am very oily, so I have to be careful with that. Plus, um, the pores, and you can't probably tell, but it doesn't really help with uh, minimizing pores at all. Um, I do have to say I like the airbrushed effect that it gives my skin uh, and you need very little of it. It's a good coverage and um, it takes care of my rosacea and things like that. So that part of it I do enjoy. Uh, I know it's good for your skin and uh, it has great ingredients. My hair is all weird today. I'm doing natural hair today in case you couldn't tell. This is my natural frizzy curly blah hair. Anyway. <laughs> So, but I did try it. So, um, for the Celebration Illuminating Foundation, I have to say, it's actually Celebration Foundation Illumination, say it properly. I do like it. Uh, it's kind of easier to get, to put on than the CC cream. Uh, and this is with uh, primer. Um, but I, when I get way up here, I can still see the orange peel skin. It doesn't really help minimize that at all but from a distance you know it's good coverage and I kind of like the halo effect of the you know but okay so another product that I got recently and it was uh, something I ordered through all cosmetics wholesale.com which I've reviewed their site before and gotten makeup and, and stuff from them before but I did feel that I needed to still powder down the center and what I got was um, the con it's called Couture Powder Complexion Enhancer by Ready to Wear. And I love the Ready to Wear palettes, I have to say. I really do. And I will show you what this powder looks like. It's an amazing powder. And if you haven't seen this, um, I, I really recommend you go look into Ready to Wear. Um, sometimes, I don't, I think they're on HSN or QVC, I'm not really sure, but you can get all these wonderful. Um, Compact, which I have several now, um, from also cosmeticwholesale.com and pay a fraction of the price. So, but anyway, I liked this powder, 
and I put it mostly over the T-zone because I didn't. It does have a pretty good coverage just for a powder, so you could use it alone if you wanted a light coverage makeup. Um, but I did kind of do my T-zone. You know, it still has that glow through anyway. So if you like the glowing thing, I would say that's a wonderful foundation. Um, the it Cosmetics one. But that powder I enjoy. So, okay, I did my eyes a little differently. Um, I've always, you know, I see the YouTuber beauty gurus doing the pink and then the black. And um, I always liked that look. But I have such a peaches and cream complexion that it's hard to pull off the pink pink. So, uh, but I did try it. I used an old palette. Pote Jersey from uh, NYX. And uh, this is really old, but I still love it. I just dug it out. And I went for it. You can tell this has been used to death. But I went right for that pink uh, and put it all over my lid. And I don't know if you can tell. There we go. But it was a bit too pink. So I threw in some gold on the lid and then some of this lighter frosty pink. It just, I felt like I needed to. And then I took, um, whoopsie. Let me make sure I'm still there. I got lost there for a second. Um, then I took um, this palette, Makeover Essentials palette, which is the Smoky Eye palette, and um, oh no, Simply Free, that's what it's called. And I took the light, lightest color here, or the highlight, in the inner corner and under the brow, and then I did use just the, the straight black in the corners and uh, pulled it up and over and so I'm really doing the smoky thing out and underneath. So, um, but I also got something new which I got these new liners from Playboy. All three of them. A brown, a green, and a black. And um, this one's called Size 2, right? I like the name of that. And it's a kind of a marker liner and this thing stays on. This, this stuff and again, this is from All Cosmetics Wholesale, and I got uh, three of them for just a few dollars. It was really inexpensive. But these almost like tattoo liners, they stay the F on. Sorry my language there, but they stay on. As a matter of fact, I kept using eye, um, a remover pads, and I couldn't get the stain of the green liner off. So you might have to have special remover for some of them. But if you really want something that's, that stays on, these uh, Playboy liners. They work. Okay, so then um, I didn't bring out my lip stuff. My lips are the same. I used the, um, can you remember the name of it? My Clinique one that's like Max Spice, different name for it, um, all over. Well, not all over, just lined it. And then used my nude Revlon lipstick that I always use. So that's nothing new there. And then I did... Um, well, I did use my e.l.f. bronzer all over just to warm the face because I I just like that and it adds a bit of a glow too, like I need more. Mm -hmm. But I, I did warm up the face with it and then I topped it off with a matte because there is so much shimmer and I mean glow and everything. I used a matte um, cheek color and I've used this before and it's um, the Muse and I, this is a runway collection one and it's very peach, very peachy. Um, but I really like that, and I've, I've shown that before, but I put that on the apples, and um, kind of like it. And yes, I did use lashes today. I'm just staring into the camera here. But uh, I'm kind of getting used to putting them on. Um, I don't always do it, but I have trouble with the inner corner staying glued on, probably because uh, I don't have that many lashes on the inner corner of my eye. Uh, I do cut them because my eyes are small, and I had to cut them to fit, but anyway, that is it, guys. I just wanted to do a quick face of the day and then my review on the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination. And I gotta go because somebody is calling me. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Put me down, I'm happy. Sorry. <laughs>